Hi, good day sa lahat. Welcome back to New Normal Science. Siguro marami kang tanong sa iyong isipan. Kung papaano mo makukulek yung student's profile o yung pwede mong ilagay sa school form number 1. So ngayon, hindi ka pwedeng pumunta sa kanilang mga bahay para makuha ang mga information na pwede mong ilagay sa SF1. So the only way to collect those data is to send it online. Now, the most efficient way in order for you to collect those data is to create a form, a Google form in order for you to collect the information in SF1. So, ano nga ba ang school form 1? Ano nga ba ang mga nakalagay na information? So, you have the LRN, the learner's reference number, name, sex, male or female, birth date, age as of first Friday of June, religious affiliation, house number, street, sitio or porok, then the barangay, municipality, province, then parents information, so father's name, mother's name, then the guardian, then the relationship to the guardian, then contact number of parent or guardian. Okay. So, kung ano yung mga nakalagay dito sa LRN, uh, sa, sorry, sa SF1, gagawin ninyo o natin sa Google Form. So, kung ano yung nagawa na sa Google Form, no need for you to construct a spreadsheet for you to encode them. Automatically, si Google Form ay mag-generate ng spreadsheet once na nakolect na lahat ng information sa inyong mga estudyante. Now we are inside my Google Drive. So, once you press this one, you can see the different uh, tools or apps of Google Suite. So, we have Docs, Sheets, Slides, Hangouts, Classroom, and many more. So, I selected Google Form. Now, we are going to start with our SF1 with this one, blank. So, let's start making SF1. Okay. So, kung bago kayo sa Google Form, watch my first video about uh, Google Form and how to make quiz. So, in-explain ko doon paano gagawin ninyo sa uh, team and pagsiset up ng Google Form. So, let's name this one as uh, School Form 1. So, this one, pwede nyo palitan yung team. Pwede nyo customize So, you can select or choose your school logo or school itself. Then you can position that one. Then done. Yan. So, okay na yung kulay natin. This is the color of our school. So, that is school form number one. That is the title. Now, the first part of school form number uh, one or SF1 is the LRN. Or buuin natin. Learner's Reference Number. LRN. Oh, by the way, before natin simulan yan, punta muna tayo sa settings. So, collect email addresses. Do not limit it to one response. Baka kasi magkamali sila. So, they can send again. 
edit after submit. Pwede. Then see summary charts and responses. So that is the general. Then presentation. Show link to submit another response. Okay. Then, thank you. Then save. So since di tayo gagawa ng quizzes, hindi ko kinilik yung quizzes. So the, that's the email address. So they will type their email address there because you are collecting their email addresses. So for the learner's reference number, so short answer is the best one. So this one, Dapat makita nyo to kasi it's reference number so it should be number kung number ang ilalagay then let's duplicate this one so okay na tayo sa LRN so the second part is the name so in the name the format will be last name first name name extension then middle name so it's also short answer but this time it should be text then that's Press that one, sorry. Balik tayo rito. I-require natin sila. Okay. Then we'll go back with that one. Then we can duplicate it. Then the next one is sex. So, it can be a multiple choice or it can be a drop down. So, subukan natin yung drop down. Hmm. Drop down, option 1, mail. Then, add another option. Capitalize natin, female. Okay. Then, let's duplicate that for the birth date. So, birth date. So, the birth date format should be month, day, year. So, palitan natin siya ng short answer. Then, They are required to do that one. Then let's duplicate it again. After birth date, it's their age. So, sa age, you need to specify that. That is as of first. Friday of June. So, tama na yun. It's for number. Then, let's add another one. Religious affiliation. Religious affiliation. So, wag po nyo gagawing short answer. Kasi sigurado mali ang masasagot nila. So, we can put uh, drop down or multiple choice. So, subukan naman natin ang multiple choice. So, lagay natin Christianity. So, for Christianity, lagay kayo ng example. Uh, Catholic. Born. Again, 
Baptist INC that's uh, INC and then add, add another one hmm, Islam add another one uh, Buddhist okay so pwede na yan then let's duplicate after religious, the complete address. So, sa complete address, so may ilan siyang column? 1, 2, 3, 4 columns. So, unahin natin yung house number slash street slash sitio slash rock. So, that one should be short answer. Very good. Then, let's duplicate. So, sunod. It's barangay. Short answer again. So, it's not a number. So, it's text. So, spelling. Oh, sorry. Barangay. Yeah, let's duplicate municipality T it's short answer let's duplicate province province so it's short answer also then let's proceed to father's name father's name so let's have a, a format for them to follow so last name first name middle name okay so short answer then so that one is required then Let's change that one. Mother's name. Then after mother's name. Guardian's name. Guardian's name. So last name. First name middle name so short answer again then relationship ship to your guardian then contact number so for contact number it's a number okay well we are in good shape so completo na siya di noble check na then you can view this one there so school form one email address learners reference number so their name, sex, let's check, male, female, very good. Then birth date, age, then religious appellation. So it's a multiple choice, they can choose only one. House number, barangay, municipality, province, parents name. Alright, so submit. So okay na yun. So balikan natin ang form. So, saan makikita yung kanilang mga sagot dito sa responses? Okay, so, so far, wala pang responses. So, ito naman yung create spreadsheet. So, dyan natin siya makikita yung mga responses ng mga sudyante. Okay? So, ganun lang po kasimple mag-create ng 
uh, form. So let's send this one so that it will be saved. So this one naman, how are we going to send this one? Via email or you can generate or copy the link. So you can shorten that one and copy. So pwede nyo na ngayon i-post yan or i-paste sa kanilang uh, group chat. So once na kinlik nila yan, automatically makakapasok sila sa school form na ginawa mo o gen generate mo. So automatically, once na nagsagot sila, automatically papasok yan sa Google Drive. So doon lahat na si save. So automatically na si save lahat yung work sa Google Drive. So let's check. Check natin tong drive. So, ito yung form kanina. Ayan. So, ito yung ginawa kong form last time. So, tignan natin. So, yung ginawa kong form para sa aking mga students. So, ito yung mga responses nila. So, I almost completed everything. So, ganyan muna makikita yung mga responses. Pero, you can also check the spreadsheet. So, that one will generate a spreadsheet. Yan. So, yan yung sinasabi ko kanina. That it will automatically create a spreadsheet for you. So, no need for you to create a spreadsheet because it will uh, generate it.